Hi Luminaries! In this video I'm going to show you how to warp your mini eye loom and then as well as remove it. So to warp your eye loom, what you'll need is your mini eye loom, warp thread, snips or scissors, needle that's optional, and then tape is also optional. And to remove your eye weaving, what you'll need are just needles, not shown here are scissors and an iron, and if you want to turn it into a batch, interface or um, felt with glue. Okay, let's get started. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so to start weaving or warping the eye loom, what I like to do is take your warp thread and I like to actually thread it with the needle because you're going to have to take it through that hole and sometimes the warp thread is a little fray and this just helps guide it through. You're going to go back to front. Okay, now you're going to make a tie right there, so slightly to the left of the hole. So make a tie. and land it right there. And then, if you like, tape this down. Okay, so once you have that all secure, you're gonna take your warp, pull it taut, directly to the opposite notch and then you're going to go across in the back and then you're going to go up to the left so you're going to create a spoke like a spoke in a wheel and a bicycle and then you're going to go across to the back and then down across now I'm going to need to turn this loom um, so bear with me and follow but there's also a link to a downloadable diagram Okay, so see how this is it's pretty repetitive. You're just return, turning the loom very naturally. And once you do it once, you'll get a hang of it and it's pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm at the last notch on the bottom. I'm going to take this up, and then there's one more notch here. So what I'm going to do is go like this and cut about five inch oops, tail. Once that's loose, pull, and you're going to take it and scoop it underneath this spoke, or this hub I should say, just through any of the warp here and up. And then you're going to thread this through the back to front and make a tie. Okay, and to make a tie, what I like to do is just keep a loop like this and tuck this in and then pull. And then you could tape this down as well. Again, um, to weave, I'm going to um, put a link for another um, detailed way to weave this eye. And here we go. Okay, now we're going to remove your weaving once you're done. Let me set this aside. Okay, so you first, what you're going to do, real quickly, so I made just kind of a round looks almost like a watermelon actually weaving you could make an eye in different colors 
you could make a teardrop shape, which is weaving just this area, okay? And then this is also just a round eye. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna untape any tape that's in the back. And you're gonna, with the tip of your needle, untie both of these ties. Okay, once you have these two untied, just use the tip of your finger and just pop all the warps off. Okay, so you see how I have this off? And then there will be one left right here, which you'll take your scissors and cut. Okay, so there's several options here. So I wanted to show you, for this one, I weaved in all of these. So what that means is, you'll take your needle, and you'll just put it through about two or three stitches. Thread, this is actually quite tedious, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna take time. Okay and then just thread through. So see how long that took me, if you don't have the right needle, but what I recommend you do is actually take um, your weaving, and actually we're gonna iron all of these warp down. Like this. So you're gonna push it down and see how easy that is. So I'm gonna fast forward this part because this could take about three to three to four minutes. Okay, so once you have that all kind of folded in like this and press, I just like to hold this down for about three seconds. Okay. And then you can leave this like this, or I'm actually gonna trim because this is actually a lot, and it's gonna create kind of almost like a indentation. So if you're using glue and felt, just go ahead and apply your glue here and then just put felt, iron it. If you're using interfacing, all you have to do is press down So the warp to this is kind of sticking out, so I'm going to use my needle to push it in and then iron carefully. Okay. And now all you do is cut, and you would do the same if you're using felt. Okay, now you're all set. These can be turned into batches. Um, you could sew them on, you know, like your purse, um, your jean jacket, your denim, whichever. So cute.